Hello, X-Ray Bob here. Uh, today we're going to do some math examples when we're scaling our intensity for a change in mass. The formula I like to use is shown here. Intensity final equals intensity initial times the mass final over mass initial. So if I double my mass, I would do the twice as much mass final over mass initial. I would double my intensity. I know Bouchong presents it as I1 over I2 equals mass 1 over mass 2. So let's do the proof of how I get my formula from there. Also, you'll need to know mass is ma times time. So here's Bouchong, 1 over 2 equals 1 over 2. And I can recall them. Instead of wherever I see the number 1, I'll put initial. So I'll have intensity initial over intensity final equals the initial mass over the final mass. So there's my new equation, and I can go ahead and cross multiply. So intensity initial times mass final equals intensity final times mass initial. And then I can go ahead and change the order and set it intensity initial times mass final. I'll put over here intensity final times mass initial. I'll put over here. Uh, I just reordered the equation. I just flipped it. And then I can divide by mass final. So I have intensity final equals the initial intensity times the ratio of the mass. So I like this formula a lot better for mass, um, and that's how I sort of got there. So I can take my initial intensity and I multiply it by the ratio of the final mass over the initial mass. You can do the same thing with distances, where here's our formula for intensity versus distance. And instead, I can memorize this formula of intensity final is intensity initial times the ratio of the inverse of the distances squared. Now I have initial over final. You can do it for mass versus distance also. My new mass, my final mass, equals my initial mass times the ratio of the inverse distances squared. And you can do it for KVP as well. Intensity 1 over 2 equals KVP 1 over 2 squared. I could memorize this formula, but I find I'm always looking for what's the final intensity given the initial intensity and given the initial KVP level and the final KVP. And if you're given a problem that makes you scale for all three, distance, KVP, and mass, you can do it all at once, or you can do it in three separate problems. All right, here's problem one. The technique of eight mass and 110 KVP results in an intensity of 15 MR. Uh, if the mass is increased to 26, what will the intensity be? So here I've got, what are my givens? It's the initial intensity is 15, the initial mass is 8, my final mass is 26. What am I going to solve for? I'm solving for what my new intensity will be, intensity final. So here's my equation, initial times the ratio of masses, and I go ahead and I put in 15 MR initial times the new mass divided by the old mass. And that's how I would get 49 MR. Let's take another one. The technique is 12 mass at 100 kVp, resulting in 480 micrograys in air. Uh, what if I drop the mass to 3.6? In this one, we're not using the kVp. It's staying the same, so we don't have to make any scales in intensity based on a change of kVp. Same in the last one. They gave us a kVp, but we pretty much ignored it. All right, so what are my givens? I've got an initial intensity of 48 mR, an initial mass of 12, and I want to, I've given a final mass of 3.6. I'm going to solve for that final intensity. So let's plug it into the equation. My initial intensity is 48 times my new intensity of 3.6 over my old intensity of 12. Let's me get to 14.4 mR. A third problem would make you multiply out the mass. So it would say the output intensity is at 70 kVps for 400 mA at 50 milliseconds, 70 mR. If the MA selectors change to the 600 MA station and the exposure times increase to 80 milliseconds, what's the new intensity? So what are our givens? We've got initial uh, intensity, uh, and we have initial mass, but not easily. We'll have to calculate it. So our initial mass is 400 MA for 50 milliseconds. And for mass, I can't have both milliamps and milliseconds. I only want milliamps per second. So I'll convert to seconds, 400 milliamps times 0.05 seconds. I've got an initial mass of 20 mass. My final mass, again, I have to go through the math and take 600 MA for 80 milliseconds, scale milliseconds to seconds. 
to get that my final mass is 48 mass. Now I'm solving for I final, and I just plug in what was my initial mass, it was 70. What was my initial, my final mass, 48, what was my initial mass, 20, and I drop that in. 70 times the ratio of my masses. And that's how I get 168 MR, pretty, pretty heavy dose. All right, so here are the references. Uh, everything I've presented either uh, was shown to me through the readings of Bouchong or the studies of Quinn Carroll. All right, this is X-Ray Bob, out.